Hey, it's Mr. McFarland. I'm going to show you how to make a attractions map uh, using Google Earth. To start this video off, I've already picked out my five places in Tokyo that I want to visit. Notice that I've written a short description for each one, and I've written it in complete sentences with proper capitalization and punctuation because this is going to be in my final product. I want it to look nice. I also chose a picture for each location. I grabbed these pictures off of Wikipedia because they're Creative Commons and free to use. I picked out my five places by searching on TripAdvisor and also doing a little bit of Google searching to see what the most interesting places in my city were. Okay, so it's time to make a map. I'm going to scroll down to where it says Google Earth link here. Click on it. And mine opened up in Chrome, which is great because this is Google Earth. So we want it to run in the Google made browser Chrome. Uh, if yours opens in Edge, uh, go ahead and copy and paste the link up here over to Chrome. I'm going to hit launch Google Earth. And it takes a second to load. It's only loading the whole Earth. Over on the side here, I've got a magnifying glass, and this helps me find locations. I'm going to go back and look at what my first location was. It's the Tokyo Sky Tree. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to search Tokyo Sky Tree. I see it come up on there. I'm going to click on that. And it zooms into that location there. Now I want to save this location on my map. And I'm going to click on this little bookmark here. And this bookmark saves this for me. Now you want to do this all in one sitting. Uh, you don't want to mark some of your locations one day and then a few the next day. Because it's not going to save since you guys aren't signed into a Google account. Next, I'll look up my next one, the Meiji Shinju Shrine. Okay, that's located in the middle of this park here, so I'm going to also bookmark that one. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead here. Uh, I'm going to bookmark the rest of my places. Okay, so I've marked all five of my locations, and I'm going to zoom out on this map by either rolling the mouse wheel out or clicking the minus sign here until I can see all five of my locations. So here's a pretty good view. You can see all five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and I want to paste this map into my OneNote notebook over here. I'm going to do this by using the screen clipping tool, which I can get to with the shortcut Windows key, Shift, and S. Then I'll click and drag from the top left of where I want my map to be down to the bottom right. and I'll let go. That copies it. Then I can go over to my OneNote notebook and press Control V to paste it in. Now I've got a nice map of all the destinations I want to go to. There's one last question here that says, what is the total distance between all your attractions? Well, let's go back to Google Earth. And I'm going to click on this little thing that looks like a ruler here. Looks like a ruler because it is one. Click on it. And pick one of your locations to start with. I'll do Sto Tokyo Skytree. And I'm just going to kind of make a rough estimate by clicking between 
the different points how long it's going to take or how far apart these are if I were to go visit all of these in one day. Now there's lots of different routes you could take. Try and pick the shortest route between all five. And I've connected all five of them now and you can see that this is going to be 14.74 miles. So I'm going to go write that in my OneNote notebook. 14.71 miles. And what I want you to think about with this is how you're going to need to get around. Would you want to walk 15 miles in one day uh, to see all these things? Would this be a two day thing, a three day thing? Would you want to take a car, a train, subway, something like that? Just get an idea of how far apart these things are. All right, I've got my map. I've got my distance. I'm good to go.